Okay, Mark Branoff is here, and uh, Mark, I'm, I'm not sure what exactly it is you're doing right now, so maybe you can let everybody else know. Will do. Nice to see you. Thank you. Dobro dojdevte, dami gospoda. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Canada is a vast land, and the diversity of its people is equally vast. Canada is also a democracy, so it's the duty of the federal government in Ottawa to take perspectives and passions of distinct communities and distill them into a balanced public policy a policy that supports the common good of the country and the world. However, democratic leadership should never be some sort of shallow exercise in mathematics, where elected MPs first check last week's poll and then proclaim their views, these views as personal conviction. Serving democratic principles in the context of common values is the difference between politicking and statesmanship. One common value that Canadians share is respect for ethnic minorities and ethnic identity. And Macedonians share this value as well, and they always have. For instance, on Thursday night, uh, I watched the excellent documentary, A Name is a Name, and I learned something new about the Khrushchev Republic, declared on August 2nd, 1903. I learned that the original Komitet of the Khrushchev Republic was a multicultural one. It's two Macedonians, it's two Albanians, two Vlach. It was a clear reflection of the cosmopolitan values of Gotodelchev, and it's part of our Macedonian heritage. So it's no wonder that Macedonians are so comfortable here in Canadian society. In 1991, the Republic of Macedonia gained its independence. Sadly, full recognition of the nation um, didn't happen in Canada for 16 years. The Greek lobby fought tooth and nail to stop the full recognition of Macedonia's one and only historical and constitutional name. By promoting the use of firearm, they sought to deform Canadian public policy so that it might resemble the official Greek state policy, first established by General Metaxas in, in the 1930s, the policy of denying ethnic Macedonians their identity, a policy that continues in Aegean Macedonian to this day. Ladies and gentlemen, on September 19, 2007, the Right Honourable Prime Minister Stephen Harper proved that Canada would not be intimidated by the forces of division, and that no state can dictate the name or, or identity of another state. When our Prime Minister recognized Macedonia, he righted a historical wrong, and in doing so, he made me feel proud of my Canadian heritage, a heritage which says no to ethnic hatred and intolerance. In recognition of the Prime Minister's act of statesmanship, I'm pleased to award him with the UMD Gotsodelchev Award, and he's joining us by video this evening. Vana Bitov, uh, if you would come up here for uh, just a moment, we have a, an important duty for you to do. Here we are. And, and did you bring something with you? Okay. I brought $50,000 with me. There we go. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Well, if charity starts at home, thank you to my parents. On behalf of our family foundation, the Bito Foundation, my brothers, Nick, Tom, John, and Jordan, I would like to donate to United Macedonians $50,000 in honor of my father, John Bito. 